how do you work? Do you like uh, draw stuff? Do you have like a storyboard or do you improvise on stage? I do both. I mean, I have, I, I sketch some very rough storyboards. I can't draw. I'm not Ridley Scott, so I can't draw these beautiful little storyboards. I don't force the actors and the blocking into the shooting plan. So I have the plan, then I block the actors, and sometimes an actor will say, maybe I sit here, maybe I move there, and then the plan will change. Really, really impressed with the use of the, uh, the lens and the optical stuff uh, to build the narration, uh, the storytelling. And did you use like any particular lens? Because sometimes yes. it was blurry or moving. Right, and, right. Uh, I mean, normally, as you know, when you're shooting two people talking, I shoot you in a 35, I'm going to be on a 35, right? So you match lenses. I deliberately mismatched lenses to make her seem weird. It's an old Kern Switar 10 millimeter lens, a C-mount 60 millimeter camera lens that fit on my Black Magic, and that would be what I would shoot her with in a close-up, and then shoot him on a normal lens. So that's it's like a, a weird mismatch in the look. The frame size is the same, but the lens is different, so the perspective is different. I wanted her to just seem odd. There's kind of an um, undecided mood about it. Sometimes it's really hard, sometimes it's really funny or really light. I, I just wanted to know like, if it was something planned for you. I mean, some of the humor just happened, but the humor was written into the script. I mean, what? Because it's a serious subject. This guy is being held hostage and so on. So my feeling is if you're doing something serious, and you did it as well, fairly early on, and that kind of disarms the audience. So you're doing something serious, and then there's a moment where they can kind of relax. And then you can hit them with the drama again. <laughs> oh, I get it. Get what? It's a joke. <laughs> we have kind of the same story because it's two hostage stories. Right. But for me, it was like, uh, I was trying to work on honesty, trying to be the more honest I could be. And, and you know, while I was uh, directing the actors, you know, I tried to take off everything that wasn't exactly me and wasn't honest to the audience and it, it just turned out to uh, become happy even though it wasn't planned to be because like I guess like when I'm uh, feeling uncomfortable I make jokes so this is what happens actually I, I do write stand-up I do stand-up comedy this okay. is my thing everything I had to uh, I had like the actors to improvise became funny in the movie but right. actually I wasn't planning on making a, a, a laughable movie but see it works because it's real it's what it is it's people in a serious situation happening it happened to be funny right if you made it a joke it would work actually when i did it i was like pretty alone at the beginning i had no producer no writer no, no nothing so I, i've been like so much at the beginning of this movie that i had already planned in my head i didn't even have to uh you know do the sketches but in your brain did you know as you're reading did you think it's going to be a long wide shot of two guys or it's gonna be a close-up did you I mean yeah you so you, yeah, already, you had the storyboard just, in your brain actually yeah and it, it, that's just like um, deduction you know of what I'm trying to say it's like okay what I'm you know it's like what what did I wanted to say with that scene so this is gonna be cut like this we are really different I mean like you're American I'm French uh, you have this haircut I have mine and we made like kind of the same movie actually it was kind of the but you know what? But it's what's it, surprised. But it's one thing I've found is that I've worked all around the world, I've gone to festivals around the world, is directors or directors, whether they're from India or Turkey or America or France, people just their movie job gives them more in common with other people that job than whatever cultural difference it might be. Stay Indian. Stay cool. Stay cool.